Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In uh, today's video we are going to talk about how I created uh, this um, 3D typography using uh, Substance 3D Stager and Adobe Fonts. This is a very interesting combination. If you're looking for the font that I used for this project, you can find it on Adobe Fonts. It's called Adnode Centric. Let's start with opening a new project in uh, Substance City Stager. On the left, there is the Assets panel. Among the basic shapes, you can find the Text tool, and when you click on it, a new editable text model will open. If you click on the Frame Selection icon, you can bring the selected um, object into the view. Let's change the text. Just uh, click into the text box on the right and start editing. With the right mouse button, you can um, move the camera and find, uh, find a good angle. You can change the font to the one you like. When the bevel is turned on, you can change the appearance of the text. There are multiple bevel styles to choose from. The CD text is parametric, so it is um, generated by Stager and it's very flexible. You can also control the depth of uh, the 3D text object. Add the new camera to the scene. I wanted to post this on my Instagram, so I selected the output size for that. I wanted to go for the isometric uh, look. That can be achieved by setting the, the focal length uh, higher. I added the plane under the text. My idea was to use a nice gradient on the 3D text model. You can save a gradient to the CC libraries in Photoshop and it is working in Stager as well. The text model has multiple materials um, on the material list as you can see by default, so you can texture them differently. I drag and drop the gradient on the side of the model. You can also save colors to the CC libraries, so you can use them on different parts of the model and, and it will just match. Now that I got the composition right, I drag and drop the, the gradient from the project materials onto the plane. The materials are linked together, so to be able to edit them separately, you have to unlink them. I like to use reflective surfaces um, in my design, so I lower the roughness of the plane texture. Lighting is the most important part of CD design. Um, I think it can be the most amazing CD design, but when the lighting is just not right, the, the whole thing will look dull. A good environment light is important. I like to use environment lights um, with long light stripes in them that simulate windows or these white neon lights. Every environment light has different characteristics, so basically it's um, a matter of taste which one you choose. Colored environment lights will change the color of the whole image, so when you want to go for um, color accuracy, stick to the black and white ones. I decided to go for a softer look at the end when it comes to lighting and um, I added an extra light source to my scene. I like to work with area lights because they are very flexible. I wanted the numbers to be more lit on the front, so I scaled and placed the, the area light accordingly.
Usually I render my images on the high uh, render preset. After selecting a folder for the file, it's, uh, it's time to render. When the render is finished, you can send the PSD file to Photoshop for post-processing. I like to work with the color lookups and edit my images with, uh, with Camera Raw. So this is the final image, I hope you like it.